What up, YouTube? This is Micro Mike here. I do some filth breakdown of free agent linebacker Jamie Collins. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to Mr. Scott Mack for requesting this information on the free agent and to give some breakdown on this linebacker and give some information, in my view, to you, the viewer. First off, let's get a little profile of Mr. Jamie Collins. He is 29 years old. He was drafted by the New England Patriots in 2013 for a second round pick. Had a great uh, success there in New England and was traded to Cleveland in 2016 for a third round pick. He received a four-year $50 million contract and throughout the tenure he was a very underrated player for the front. However, with that contract, he underperformed to the style that they wanted in Cleveland, so he was let go. Another uh, part of that was he had a injury with his knee, and it was giving him problems throughout the year. So, when I did film breakdown, I did not want to do it with the Cleveland Browns simply because he was with New England when we, he had our coach, Coach Patricia. And the first game that I saw was against the Dallas Cowboys, and that was a fun game to watch. He was agility fast, and he was not over-pursuing. There was no hole during one specific play. He got through the hole, and he sacked quarterback Tony Romo. It was a fun, fun thing to see. Another interesting part of his game was his ability to stay with the tight end. And not only that, he almost got a fumble recovery for the New England Patriots. And throughout the whole game, he was still staying with the tight end. And obviously, that is something we are lacking here in Detroit. The next game I watched was him versus the Denver Broncos with Peyton Manning. This was the best film that I've seen. The Denver Broncos could not stop Mr. Linebacker Collins, and he subsequently got three sacks on Peyton Manning and simply ruined their day. The best part of the film is how he stuffed the run. On one specific play, there was a giant hole. Quarterback Manning gave the ball to the running back, and out of nowhere, Mr. Collins smashed him like a car going into a wall. It was something to see. It reminded me of a former WWE star, Bill Goldberg, smashing, say, a 130-pound kid. It was awesome. And that is the type of stuff that we need here in Detroit. So, during his time with New England, he definitely proved to be a solid, solid contributor to that defense. Now, a little bit of issues in Cleveland. And first, I can say the reason I believe that is, one, his knee injury gave him a little bit of problems. But more importantly, it looked like that he simply did not fit the system. Now, the question is... Should we take a chance on a flyer with Mr. Lineback Linebacker Collins? And you have to ask a couple of questions. What is the contract that he is, is, what is he looking for? Is he looking for a multi-year contract with a higher price tag? Or would he be willing to take a one-year flyer prove-it deal? Secondly, we would have to look at the knee, see how it's doing. He is a little bit older, so is, is the knee still giving him problems? Or, does he, or do our health experts with Detroit feel that he could overcome it for this year? My opinion and what sh we should do. First off, I would wait. Right now, he's been on the free agent market for two weeks. Um, we have the NFL draft coming up. And in my opinion, I believe that we are going to pick a linebacker uh, early on in the draft. Whether it be Khalil Hodge or someone else. However, if the draft does not go the way that the Lions want at what I prefer, and we do not take a linebacker early on, I think if he would take a one-year prove-it deal, absolutely, I would pick him up. I've seen flashes of brilliance with him. Yes, he's a little bit older, and he's probably not going to get to the form that he was when he was younger, but he would be an upgrade of we, what we currently have, and it would be Definitely, definitely help out Davis, and we had a big issue with covering tight ends, and he seemed to have the ability to stop the tight ends, and that would very much help our defense out. So with that said, I'd like to again thank you, Mr. Scott Mack, for giving me a chance to break the film down and give you my opinion. Have a good one, folks.